So what is next then? What is what is happening with Deco and their original music? Uh, so we were going to be releasing something at the end of Feb, but we've cancelled that just because, you know, we don't know what's going to happen with this mashup. But if if it goes out, then it's obviously like a ch- chart campaign. Um, if it doesn't go out, then we need to kind of negotiate um, with the label to try and um, to try and convince the label to take us on purely uh, for our own stuff. Mm-hmm. And if that ha- if that happens, we'll probably go to their studios and do some writing with the writers and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we've got like we've got like twenty songs that we recorded last summer. So we've got we've got wow. a big backlog of songs ready to go either way. So it's kind of you know obviously we've built a following with this. Um, so I feel like if we release one of our songs independently now, it'll still do better than it would have done three weeks ago. So I'm kind of kind of happy really with uh, however whatever the scenario is. Yeah. yeah. I like that. I think it's um do you feel any pressure now to think maybe you've been you've you've had this chance to gain a big following and maybe your next moves can sort of make or break a little bit? Like do you feel like you've got to take advantage or is it as you said, like it's not gonna do worse, so it doesn't really matter? Uh yeah, I think it's important not to kind of think about it too much. Because I feel like people like our guitarist John didn't wasn't that keen on this Angels mashup. Right. Yeah. But I was think I was thinking at this point, I feel like people are that invested in these mashups that it will do. People will like a lot of people will like it. A few people might not. You know, it'll mm. be the same because everyone's got their own opinion, right? And it's of course. So it's yeah. I, I'm trying not to put too much too much pressure on it. I mean, I, I was obviously if this if the mashup can't go out, then I'll obviously be gutted because I feel like genuinely, you know, we've had some big names behind that. Mm. Um, you know, like the Good Morning Britain guys. If 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 we need someone to kind of campaign for it to get to number one, we couldn't have like a bigger program to kind of get behind it. You know, that's insane. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, I feel like genuinely it could 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 do really really well if if it if it goes out. But um, if it doesn't, then we've got to just think of a plan B. Well, I've already thought of a plan B and a plan C to kind of make still make the most out of it and exploit mm. everything we can from the from the video. So, yeah. As in what year? what you find fits your voice and how you lot play the music and stuff as well. Like if you're going to be listening to eighties all the time, it is going to have that her- like real boxing or influence on you because mm. you, what you're surrounded by is what you create, isn't it? Mm, I feel like the way I see it in my head, like it's always, there's always a year delay from what I listen to and what comes out kind of thing. Yeah. And how, cause it doesn't come out straight away. Mm. But like for some people it might, so if you listen to listening to Drake or something, then it will come out as Drake the next day. But for like for some reason, like I went through a real phase of listening to like Michael Jackson and all his like back catalogue in like 2016, and then it started to come out sort of last year. Yeah, weird, yeah really, really weird. Yeah, oh, that's interesting. I guess it just gets mm. lodged in your subconscious a bit, and then yeah, just... I think that's it. Yeah, oh, that's interesting. I like that. I don't know if you've just confirmed a Drake eighties mashup coming next from Deco, but I'm not sure. No, <laughs> oh. no, we, we were we were thinking about doing like a slightly because obviously we've been doing like nineties tunes, um, which I feel like it might pigeonhole us a little bit because a lot of the people that have been, a lot of the people that have been liking these mashups have been a little bit older to, mm. to our usual audience, which I think yeah. is good, you know, like mm. without sounding too business minded, those are the guys that spend the money on music, you know. That's, like, do you know, listen to, yeah you know radio 2 is the biggest station definitely you know, yeah. like if we get played on that then you get listened to by more people but it's, uh, it's definitely in terms of like building a career out of it you know it's, there's no kind of right or wrong with who your audience is really um, mm. so we're kind of just sort of trying to be easy going about that but yeah we're thinking about maybe doing something you know like an Ed Sheeran song or something I don't know mix of the latest song that could be quite fun yeah an Ed Sheeran like would be a good way a good look at or yeah Little Mix Got yeah. that? Is that on the horizon? Little mix are always big. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe they're on the same uh, same booking agent, so maybe we'll maybe we could get them to collab with us. I don't know. <laughs> no, that would be huge. <laughs> that, that would blow out the water. I think that yeah, that yeah. take that take something on a completely different level. I think if the collaboration with Little Mix would be unbelievable. Yeah, I'll talk to our manager. Actually, it's a good idea. Just, <laughs> yeah. just, 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 just that. There you go. Yeah, we'll, we'll have twenty percent. 
Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're in the process. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get the contract sent over to you, man. Yeah. No, no more contracts this week. <laughs> Edit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, like I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the hell is going to happen next. So let's, no. let's just uh, let's just see. Ride the Smoke. wave, innit? It's the yeah. excited, the exciting part of it as well of just trying to make. You've managed to get this real lucky break to some extent, and because the work's so fucking good, it should hold some more structure than like, you know, some of these like viral videos that go that go viral and they just go viral for viral sake. Do you know what I mean? They yeah, catch yeah. the wave, but because yeah, it's yeah. actually something to it and you've put the work in it should hold a little bit better yeah i'm hoping so like i feel like that's one one thing i did think you know we're lucky that we've got this kind of back catalog on spotify and all this kind of stuff because if people have got somewhere to go and like it helps cement your thing whereas if you're purely tiktok and all your content is on tiktok then the people haven't got anywhere else to go other than that yeah it's like and um... i haven't i haven't done my research but um i'm not sure if the sea shanty guy was an artist before this, I really don't know. Yeah, but it was just it, it, it was a thought that I'd had. Like, you know, how how is he going to sustain 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 it all? I mean, he obviously is because he get, he's got millions and millions of followers. Yeah, views. That's nuts, isn't it? That but it's is... whether it's whether he's anything. He's got, has he got anything to be kind of cashing in on it with? Basically, well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Using your what? What's he going to give next? Or what yeah. are people going to be able to look back because when you have like a viral video like these YouTubers that have like a viral video nine yeah. times out of ten they've always been plugging beforehand they've had like they've got some other videos that people can then look back at and go oh mm. he's always been funny or she's always been funny mm. and now they've got now they're like oh shit I'm going to stick about now whereas like if yeah. all he's got is the sea shanty they're going to you're going to almost struggle to yeah. keep that in the limelight Mm. Yeah, but I think I've seen him doing like more contemporary music covers since then. So I think he's kind of slowly converting away from the sea shanty. Yeah. yeah, it's not going. It's not going to last forever. That kind of thing. No, no. But it's, it's the same with us as well. Like you know, we've eventually got to try and get people onto our own music before people get bored of mashups. You know, mm. <laughs> same thing. I think I'm 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 glad that you picked eighties for it though because it because it fits your sound of your original stuff. Yeah, too. it would be an easier transition to maybe if you were. Mm like some of these artists or like YouTubers or something, like they drop like a hip hop album or they drop like a hip hop thing. And yeah. the thing that's gone viral has been them singing with a guitar, but they've now got this rap thing going. Yeah, and it doesn't yeah. quite, it, the transition's yeah. much harder because you're forcing people to listen to something that they've never yeah. heard before. It definitely, definitely, uh, definitely helps that we've got that. Um, but yeah, people have been asking if we're going to play the Wonderwall thing live. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which I really want to but the funny thing is like I've had I've had like a few um like vocal issues not it's not like nothing's wrong with my throat it's like the muscles in my throat have been getting quite tight like just through stress and things various yeah. things like that and it's been affecting the way my voice has been performing like ge- in, generally speaking it's been making my voice a lot shitter but yeah. for some yeah. reason for some reason in the Wonderwall video it sounds more strange and more haunting I suppose because it's that it sounded like more kind of husky, maybe. I don't really know. Mm. Sounded but, a little bit more eighties because everyone smoked maybe, and yeah. it was like a it had, yeah, that, maybe, yeah. <laughs> it had that vibe to it. But yeah, so I'm now thinking how the hell am I gonna do that voice now? Um live, but I should be fine. <laughs> make, make, sure, make sure we get really stressed before a gig and then it's yeah yeah, no, yeah that should pack of L- pack of L- bees I think will do you alright yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that you'll be fine yeah I think that's how Liam I think that's how Liam Gallagher got his voice in the 90s so <laughs> L and B's and probably so I think that helped <laughs> yeah probably also what got rid of it but yeah, yeah, true, it. true. It's like a short window, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 